everybody thanks for joining me welcome to my channel do dazzle me and today I'm just gonna do a quick little uh, jewelry jar un jarring <laughs> um, I picked this one up over the weekend last weekend um, it was a lot cheaper it was nine bucks I I was tempted to not get it but there's a few things in there that I um, want I can see that there's a lot of junk too. So that's going to be fun though still. I still love them anyway. And then a couple of announcements. So um, the last uh, mystery box unboxing I did, the one that I bought off Etsy, which ended up being such a great deal. Um, just a quick little update on there. Um, I ended up getting 34 pairs of really nice earrings that are totally going on my shop. So those alone... Um, was worth the under $30, 25, just over 26 bucks I spent on it. So those, and then I had got at least like five, uh, five necklaces, two bracelets, and then those glasses, those glasses, which I don't um, know exactly what I'm going to sell those for yet, but I did find some similar ones and they go really well. So it overall was a killer deal. I'm so happy I got that. So that was just a real quick thing I wanted to share with you. That I got 34 pairs of earrings out of that. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. There's a lot of really cool stuff in there. I, I love it so much. I love doing these little, getting these mystery boxes and, and unboxing them and going through them and stuff. It's so much fun. And then the other thing I wanted to tell you is on one of my other videos, unboxing videos, I had showed you um, the Polaroid that I had gotten at the thrift store. I got a really good deal on it, and it was re it is in really good shape. Um, I did have to clean up the rollers that are inside because I looked up some information. I've always loved these, but I don't really know a whole lot about them. So there's the little rollers that your picture rolls through. It squeezes out the um, the chemicals and stuff that make the video um, make the picture. <laughs> um, anyway, if those get dirty at all, it doesn't go through right. It can leave smudges and smears, which I think they still need some more cleaning, um, but, and when I first, now I don't know that, um, if it's the film or the camera, but the first few pictures that we took didn't do anything. They just ended up being black. Um, so I, I don't know what that was about. I don't know if it was the, um, the film or the camera again, because then it started actually working, and today I went out, because the other pictures didn't come out so great, because we weren't in good lighting. So it worked, but it was too dark. Um, but today I went out and took a couple pictures of little Ella in the sun. And it says on there you need, you know, Polaroids love, 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 lots of light. So you need, like, really, really well-lit room or out in the sun. It's best to use out in the sun. But so this really came out. But you can see where there's, um, right here, there's some streaks. So, um, oh, it's shining on there. So... It's either the film, because all of them have that streak. All the pictures I've taken have that streak or a streak of sorts. See, like this one, this little streak right there. But I'm so happy because each picture I take, it keeps getting better and better. So I was super excited about that. Uh, we just need to take the pictures outside, and I'm going to take it apart and clean those rollers but I can't open that up until this pack's done. That's why I haven't fixed it. Because you don't want to take that out. You could damage the um, film because it no longer has that little protective cover on it. So I don't want to open it up. I, I think there's probably only one picture left. Or I took the last one today. I'm not sure. But I'm going to wait until... I'm, I'm probably going to take a picture of Matthew outside uh, later. See if there's one more in there. Because I... I didn't count them. There was only eight. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to get another pack of film, and then I think it'll be good after that. But I just want to show you guys that because I promised I would let you know whether it worked or not and show you the results. But um, super cool. Super cool. Anyways, all right. So I've got this little jar here, and it's just this is just going to be a quick one. I think there's a lot of junk in here, but, uh, but um, nine bucks. You know, I... I go and spend ten to twenty dollars at the thrift store and just whatever. So 
if I just don't get anything else and I get one of these jewelry jars and I love going through them, I might get something for my shop, which is a big bonus. It's all fun to do and now I get to make videos and put them on YouTube and let everybody else enjoy it. So all, all in all, it's a good deal, even if I spend a little bit more than I normally would. Like, if I was just looking for jewelry for myself, I certainly wouldn't be buying these, but because there's, you know, there's not, um, you're not guaranteed to get anything you like, but, uh, because I sell such an array of 80s, 90s stuff on my shop, I mean, I got really good chances of getting something that, and then you also got that chance of getting something really nice too that, you know, slipped through everything and ended up in there. Um, anyway, so yeah, let me change the view and we'll get right to it, all right? One sec. Okay, so I think I'm just going to dump this out and then we're gonna see what we got. I think I dropped something. Hang on. Let's see. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Lots of... There's lots of trash in here. Little beads. I don't have these going on the floor. Okay. Buttons. Love buttons. Like I said before, I don't uh, use buttons a lot for things but I sure do like collecting them <laughs> okay so I think I'll just oh where is my button jar I've got I got more than this but this is just one jar I've been kind of adding stuff to so I'm just gonna put the buttons as I find them in there that's a nice little vintage button okay black button buttons I like these those are uh Oh, they're broken. Oh, I think that was... I don't know what that was. Huh. Let's see, what's this? Oh, that's that's cute. Rose earrings. There's a bunch of rose, like a rose wreath. Um, let's see any markings, but that's cute. Hopefully the other one's in here. Oh, these are nice clip-ons. Again, I don't see any markings on there, but those are nice. I like those. Oh, let's see, broken earring. What is this? A tooth? Pin? Tooth pin? What do you hang off here, teeth? <laughs> it's weird. Button, button, button. Cool. At least I get to add to my button collection. <laughs> Here's, uh, that's just plastic junk. Some beads. Those are nice beads. What's well, a small button and it's really thick. Let's see, here's a hoop. This is nice. Kind of looks silver. Maybe, maybe not. I don't see any markings, but that's a nice hoop. Wow, what is that? Oh, well, it's all broken, but that looks totally vintage. It's made out of a bunch of little shells. Um, fake thing. That's trash. Right? Oh, look at these. Those are cool. Those are totally vintage clip-on earrings, but it's made out of, um, uh, what's that material? Uh, suede? Uh, anyway, those are neat. Here's a button. Oh, these are cool. Oh, these are totally 80s. Oh, I hope the other one's in here. I kind of have a feeling there's going to be a lot of, like, mismatch or not the matching ones. Oh, these are cool. Oh, they're all bent. Oh, I like those. The big, fat hoops. Um, again, I'm already not seeing any matching ones. Oh, those were clip-on. That's it. I got a matching pair of these ugly, broken clip-ons. That's great. I'm going to put all the trash in here. These are cool hoops. Oh, I like that. It's kind of got like a cracked cement look. I, I don't know what else you'd call it. Those are nice clip-ons, though. Let's see. Oh, these are nice clip-ons. Oh, I like those. I don't see any markings. I like that, though. That's totally vintage. I could, like, repair that little piece there, too. Um, oh, what's this? necklace or what is this it's 
broken or something. That's weird. It's just a long chain with these two little gold coins on the end. I'll probably use these gold coins for uh, Lily's little costume like I was telling you about before. This the feather button. Oh, these are neat. Oh, those are neat clip-ons. Cool. I'm not seeing any matching. Those are ugly. Oh, yeah, this is this one's already disappointing. I don't see any. I liked it. Wow, that's really heavy. It's broken. I like those colors though. It's trash. Can't even repurpose that. This looks like it used to be clip ons or something. There's just a plain old white earring. A, I am not seeing any. Oh, look. Um, what do you call it? Ugh, I'm, oh, those are neat. Colorful. Oh, those are neat. They're made of like leather too. Those are kind of neat. And I don't see the matching pair. Wow, this sucks. These are interesting. Definitely vintage. Looks like it's missing pieces. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. It looks like I spent about nine bucks on buttons and trash. Oh, those are cool. Ugh, is this a jar? You know, that really is irritating. Um, it looks like they th made a jar. Charles Jordan Paris. Ooh, those are neat. Those are totally vintage. What was I saying? It looks like they made a jar of earrings with missing all the pairs. Oh, I thought maybe that was... Which is quite irritating. Nobody wants a jar full of mismatched pairs of earrings. Ugh. I wonder if I could take this back to hospice. What's this? I'm not hospice. Um, Goodwill. I got this at the Goodwill. Oh, I like that. Uh, that's nice. I like that. That totally looks vintage. It's a little uh, merry-go-round horse. So I spent nine bucks on a freaking pendant. <laughs> Here's a little... Oh, I hope the other one of these... These are neat. Clip-ons. Those are cute and petite. Oh, sorry. Hmm. What's the other one of these? What does that say? Oh, I don't know. Wow. Well, those are cool. If the other pair was in here and I don't see it. I like that. They're like all different colors. Oh, is this the only matching pair? These are cute, though. I do have a collection of um, Halloween earrings on my shop. These could go in there. I could put some new tops on there. <sighs> That's the same one. I'm kind of... Like I said, I, I'd still like doing these, but... Ugh, I've... I'm really disappointed with this one. Those are super cute. Look at those little teeny hoops. So there's a lot of earrings in here that I really like, but no matching. Oh, oh no, it's not. Darn it. It looks like the same kind. What's, they look exactly the same. Except for they're not. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if they came in the same set or something. Uh, oh, those are neat. Oh, look, these are the same kind of little clip as those other ones, too. Wow, what is this? What the world? Yikes, that's scary. 
Look at that. What is this for? Is this some kind of pin? It's really ugly. Or, no offense if anybody likes that. It's um, missing a lot of beads. Maybe it was nice at one point. Let's see what's. Ooh, I like that. But again, I don't think the matching pairs. I really like those. I wish those were in here. Ellers, what are you doing, babies? Oh, I like those clip ons. Oh, come on. Tell me something that I like is freaking here. Lots of little hoops. Oh, that's really too bad. None of the pairs are in here. Oh, my goodness. This one more disappointing by the second. Mm, those are ugly. Those are nice. If the pair was in here, I cannot believe this. They didn't put any. It's nice. <laughs> Babies. Hey, Matthew, get down. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at that. That looks silver, too. Oh, how much you want to bet the other pair isn't in here? Well, these are Monet's. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look. Oh, thank goodness. Look at that. These both are in here. That's awesome. But wait a minute. Why are they different colors? Those are really cute, though, still. I like those. They look silver. Those are going on the shop. That's cool. Well, at least I got that. That's nice. Hey, my babies. Here, let me go get her. Hang on. Okay. Um, some hoops. This would be nice. What are these? These are nice. Cute little ew, there's hair all over them. Cute little danglies. Let's see the pair. Oh, look, here's these. They're really, um, got a lot of tarnish on them. They look silver. Oh, what's it say there? TA75. Uh, something. Bunch of numbers. Huh. I don't know what that says. You can read it on this one. Well, this one doesn't have a stamp. It looks silver or nickel or something. I don't know. Oh, well, that's cool. At least it's got two pairs of earrings. That's dope. Um, those are ugly. Definitely vintage. Thought I saw something written on it. Um,. Ugly. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's neat. Look at that. Those are Monet. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, I don't see the pair. Dang it. Sorry. <laughs> this is frustrating. Look at all these mismatched pairs. What's that? It says Kim. Is that the same one I had? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Buttons. Googly eye. Oh, I like that. Oh man, that's an awesome color. And the matching pair is not in there. Darn it. So much cool stuff I like, but no matching pair. Wow, this is a big disappointment. Oh, those are cute too. Darn it. I really like those. For real. I can't believe they put this many mismatched pairs in one jar. I mean... Did they not expect this to really upset somebody? Yeah, I know you, you're not guaranteed anything in these mystery jars, but... 
Um, and I don't mind beads because I can use those, but what the heck am I going to do with one of these? You can't use that for anything. I know there is, though, you know, um, if you Google it, like on Pinterest and stuff, there's some really neat... Oh, look, here's these ones, or at least in there. They're really, really tarnished. Those look silver, too. Maybe, maybe these can be polished up real good. Um, but I was going to say about um, uh, one neat repurpose for... And those are just cheap. Uh, for clip-on... Like, it wouldn't work with any of these because, but, like, um, let's say, let's say if this was prettier, <laughs> but it's, like, beaded, you can, um, use it, you can turn it into, a, like, a hairpiece, you can put it on other things as, like, a decoration, like your shoelaces, um, things like that. I've seen lots of different interesting things that you could do with Clip-ons. Oh, I like these just white earrings, but there's only one, and there's only one of these. Wow, how disappointing. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, that's about it. The rest of this looks like junk. I really wish these were in there. The other one. Darn. And these and these. Ugh, darn it. No, I got some buttons. This. Well, that was quite disappointing. Oh, well, here's a matching pair of earrings. Let's see, 925 on it. Yes, 925. These are really neat, actually. I like those. I like how they decided to do the beads and stuff. I like those. Those are really neat. Okay, a couple pairs of earrings. I mean, I wasn't expecting a lot, but... This is a lot more disappointing than I was expecting. Oh, look, they put these matching pairs in there. Those are just hideous. Hmm. <laughs> oh, let's gonna see though. <laughs> Let's see how well this poly... Ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Show you how well these little dry wipes work. And um, I'll put a link in the description for these wipes because if you have got... Maybe you're another shop that sells jewelry um, like I do. Then, Or if you just got a lot of jewelry that you need to polish up. Um, these wipes are excellent. And they you get a lot of uses out of them. Like I described in my video where I show you how I clean mine. You don't see how this has already been used. But you don't use it once and throw it away. You use every bit of that. Um to get the most use out of it because one use does not use it up you use both sides check that out though that really polished up nicely let's show the before and after where'd the other one go look at that <laughs> look at that difference oh that's cool that's way cool. Those polished up really nice. I think these are silver. Cool. That Well, that's a score. That's a really good score. They're not marked, though, I don't think. I don't see any markings. But, yeah, do you see how... Well, look at that. Look at that. That really... Here, I'll, just, I'll give you even better... Let's just polish one spot in the center here. Are you all right, baby? Look at that. Let me go check on her. So yeah, I see there. See the, the little st strip I just polished? That's how well these work. So as I was saying, I'll put a link and you can you can get them on Amazon. They're about six or seven bucks. Somewhere it's in there. Um, 
but those are cool. Yeah, and see, like these two, they're probably, these look uh, silver. Look at that, shined up really nice. Oh yeah, well at least I got a couple pairs of earrings out of this one. And some possibly silver too. I really like these. Where'd it go? That's cool, so I got one, two, three, four, five pairs of earrings. Not a total bust, but almost was, man. That kind of scared me for a minute. I thought I wasn't going to get nothing. But look at all these mismatched pairs. That's ridiculous. Like, nobody wants those. All right. Well, I think that's about it. I wish this one was in there. That's just so neat. Totally bohemian. And, and this one. Darn it. This one is so nice. And vintage. Okay. Just one more quick over... All right, well, thanks for joining me, you guys. This one wasn't as exciting as the others, but still fun. Still fun. And um, remember to go follow me on Facebook because I do a lot of um, different stuff over there. And, uh, oh, these are made in Japan. These are totally vintage, but I'm sure the other one's not in here cute little yellow triangle here. Um, yeah, I I find interesting articles. Like just a minute ago, I put um, I put an article about this spring's fashion trends, which was really cool because uh, a lot of the fashion is like totally remakes of 80s, 90s fashion, which is exactly the era that my jewelry that I do is so totally matches up well so it's a really interesting article and just fun to look at um, and then I also do articles on um, you know how to take care of your jewelry different things like that whatever I find that's interesting and then um, I do post, like, my newest listings on there. I don't do every single new listing, but, like, kind of my favorites out of the whatever handful that I added that day or whatever. So um, if you see me listing something new, that means that I've got, oh, look, a crystal. Well, that's neat. Pretty little crystal. I like making jewelry out of crystals, too. <clears throat> but yeah, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss my next videos. Tomorrow I'm going to be adding or doing a video on my newest um, additions to Etsy, so don't miss that. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time, alright? Bye! Bye.